the day trader. Mike Shore Prosper Trading Academy is here for a fresh new trading year. Mike, what's your trading plan? It, it, it's a bit of a difficult part, the first part of the year, trying to figure out, are we going to continue on from 2022 or is this a wipe the slate clean? And so what, what I try and do in, in situations like this is finding out where the overall, I mean, the overall market is usually defined by a, you know, a, a, a handful of, uh, of, of stocks here. And if you, if you looked uh, on early Tuesday morning, things were bullish pre-market, and then they turned decidedly bearish after that. And why was that? Well, you could look at a, at a number of things, but really it looked like the first thing that moved uh, and let, let's throw Tesla out of the way because Tesla really doesn't have a whole lot to do with with the overall market. That's a story in and of itself. But Apple was the one that showed some early and then while everything else was kind of looking a little bit bullish, Apple tanked. And uh, and so that, that set the tone. And really that's what you're trying to look for. Once you find the tone, hey, if the tone is bullish, look for things that are not quite, you know, aren't showing all that much bullishness yet or find the one of, of what is going to change it. So really what Apple is, now that it, it, it seems to have settled in at about that 125 area, which is, a, I mean, really, really low. They went out on 130 on Friday, almost to the penny. So, uh, but you can kind of look at Apple now, at least early and through the mid part of this week, as 125 as your inflection point. Below 125, we're bearish and really, you know, we're, we're looking at, you know, at, at, well, everything is going to be yearly lows starting, you know, now, but, um, you know, we're really flirting with the lows that we've seen. So use 125 as that inflection point as support resistance. If it's below, then that means that 125 is resistance. It's above, if it's above 125, then 125 is your support. So that's really what I've been trading. And if, if it's not moving, don't try and force it with other things. That means, you know, if Apple's not moving, it's going to be, and you're a spy and or Q trader, it's going to be very hard for Apple to go anywhere, or, or excuse me, for either of those things to go anywhere without Apple showing that same momentum, whatever it is, upside or downside. So it's always figure out A, which direction we're going, and B, what's driving it. And right now, it's Apple. Always good to trade what's active. Happy New Year to you, Mike. You're very welcome. Happy New Year, everybody. Go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.